Hi, we're students from the Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics Department here at UCLA. We took part in an immersive research course in microbiology and created our own research project as Team Rocket. I'm Joanne. I'm Vanessa. I'm Sigrid. And I'm Sylvia. And we will be talking about the research we did this year. For the past two quarters, we had the opportunity to work with microbes from the site of the Skirbo fire of 2018. Wildfires not only affect the plants and animals living there, but also the microbes in the soil. Wildfires can dramatically change the microbial soil community by killing off all but the hardiest of microbes and also by transiently changing the nutrition of the soil. Because wildfires can greatly affect the soil microbiome, we wanted to explore how microbes in the soil are responding to recovery processes and how they might contribute to recovery. Many of us know microbes as pesky disease-causing organisms that can sometimes be hard to treat. However, microbes have a lot of other functions that are beneficial to us. Microbes are how we get cheese, yogurt, and some can help us clean up oil spills in the environment. For our research, we decided to focus on plant growth promoting bacteria. As their name suggests, they promote the growth of plants. One way they can do so is by changing the form of nutrients in the soil or air so that they're accessible to plants. Another way is by producing pathogen killing compounds or antibiotics that can protect plants from infection. Since plant growth promoting bacteria can support the growth of plants and revegetation in a burnt environment, our goal was to learn how plant growth promoting bacteria affect the recovering soil community, especially after revegetation has occurred. This is important as wildfires are increasing across California, resulting in increased rates of environmental destructions. More research is needed to look into how environments recover and how we can help it recover. To address our research question, we had to know what bacteria were living in our soil and what the community was like. We grew and isolated microbes from the soil we sampled earlier this year and tested them for different plant growth promoting properties. In particular, we looked at activities that would make nitrogen, phosphate, and iron more accessible to plants. We also looked for antibiotic producing activity. We also used metagenome analysis to look at the overall microbial community. A metagenome is a compilation of all the genomes of the bacteria entities in the soil, which allows us to see what microbes are present and at what abundance. We compare the soil sample data from 2019 to the data from 2020 to examine the changes the soil community had undergone over a year. After we extracted the bacteria in our soils, we decided to carry out the following experiments. Using metagenome analysis tools, we compared the soil samples from 2019 and 2020 for evidence of plant growth running bacteria and plant growth running properties. We found that 2019 had a higher relative abundance of both over 2020. We then asked, what could have caused this change and decrease in abundance for 2020? One possible way this could occur is through competition. Just like how animals compete with one another for food, microbes also compete with one another to survive. It is possible that the plant growth promoting bacteria got outcompeted by other microbes in the soil, which would explain their decrease over the past year. To test this, we pitted PGPB against non-PGPB in conditions where nutrients were scarce. This will allow us to see if PGPB are good or bad at competing against non-PGPB in harsh conditions. We call these experiments competition assays. One experiment we did involved direct competition. We wanted to see which bacteria type would beat out the others when competing for nutrients. Another experiment we did involved indirect competition. We wanted to see which bacteria type survived better against antibiotic producers. We found that for both modes of competition, plant growth running bacteria were outcompeted by non plant growth running bacteria. From our experiments, we were able to learn a lot about how plant growth promoting bacteria interact with the community after they've done their job in helping plants regrow. Our results showed after two years in recovery, there are fewer PGPB in the soil community. We have evidence that this may be due to competitions brought on by lack of resources in the soil 
or the PDPB has a higher susceptibility to antibiotics. For our next steps, we would like to further explore how competition affects the soil community throughout recovery to expand our knowledge about community dynamics. We are interested in looking into other groups of bacteria, as well as conducting more competition assays. Understanding how communities change and how microbes interact with one another will give insight as to how environments heal after disturbances. Our lab experience was made possible thanks to Dr. Parker, Dr. Freeze, Dr. Reddy, and other lab staff. For many of us, it was our very first wet lab experience and at times pretty overwhelming. Since we are sharing a space with other lab groups, we had to be really efficient and plan our days out properly to get the most out of our lab hours. We also ran into delays due to surprise contamination of our experiments. And while most of our experiments were pretty straightforward, it still took us hours and hours of hard work. We can't say there was no griping involved during the quarter, but we do look back on our time in the lab now, fondly now. Overall, we now have a greater appreciation for the work researchers do tirelessly. Thank you for Thank watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you.